Hi everyone. This is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl. You have to forgive my scratchy voice. I've had a cold for the last week and over this past weekend it really hit me hard. So I really haven't been too active but I put together um, just a short video of what um, I was up to over the weekend. So please stay tuned and have a look. I don't think I've ever been late for a water change until this week. I worked on my Angel's 55 gallon aquarium yesterday, making some major changes. I also removed the three some that were spawning together and put them in my Angel's breeding tank in my little fish room. They're still getting used to it, but I think it'll work nicely. Once I had the 55 done, I did a water change on my Haps and Peacock 75 gallon. I only changed the water. I cleaned the glass on the inside while it drained um, down to about 50%, but that was it. I have been fighting a nasty cold for the better part of last week, and this entire weekend was spent coughing and sniffling and feeling lousy. I always tell myself that I can give in for one day and do nothing, and that's it. I am a firm believer if you keep moving and don't give up, you will overcome pretty much anything. Well, this cold wasn't giving me any breaks. I am steeped in routine and get thrown off kilter when my daily routine is out of whack. Today I forced myself to get back on track. I did water changes on my final two show tanks. This aquarium, my 75 gallon of Buna community, is shortly after my water change. There were two females holding while the water level was low. I removed them, stripped them, put their babies in tumblers, and returned them to the community. I like to strip my females at seven days so that I don't have to give them a recuperation period. Both of these females, a yellow lab and a Kenyai, are excellent moms and give me wonderful broods. This time they each gave me close to 40 eggs. The yellow lab is a couple of days further along than the Kenya. Actually going up and checking on the eggs after supper, um, the yellow lab eggs have already popped their heads and tails. Then it was on to my 40 gallon brackish aquarium. It's a smaller tank, so I do a decent full clean each week, altering my filters from week to week. My little sharks are doing well and growing quickly. I have been feeding them mostly raw shrimp and bloodworms, but I did pick up some sinking pellets for bottom feeders, and they are getting used to them. Water changes on this aquarium are pretty much the same, except for the type and amount of salt I add to the water that I have removed. The dosage is quite high compared to what I add to my cichlids aquariums. Two tablespoons of instant ocean salt per gallon of water is what I have been adding. I do plan on taking these little sharks all the way to full salt water over time, but this is something that cannot be rushed. So my plan is every six months I will be adding another tablespoon to the formula until I have reached seven tablespoons per gallon. I will continue to monitor my gravity level, but increasing this way will take me two and a half years, but I will eventually have my little sharks at full salt water by the time they are mature. So once my water changes were complete, I was whipped and I sat down on the couch knitting slippers. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out, wishing you an awesome week ahead. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.